What's up, you guys? Another day, another dollar. Me and my smoothie. You already know how we do. Let's get into it. In this video, I want to talk about the astral fighting pits. Now, some of you have probably heard about this before, or maybe this is your first time hearing about it. So let's get into it. So the astral fighting pits is essentially an area of the astral plane in which you could battle other astral projectors or you could battle other beings. It's essentially considered like a training ground for the astral war. So when you go here, it's, it's literally like a game. And this is why I always tell people it's literally like the show Alice in Borderland. Now, Alice in Borderland is a bomb ass show for those who are especially very empathetic. And that show, it's basically like a, a squid game. It's basically like a giant universe where these people create games and these people play them. And it, it essentially tests them. It's like a huge ass game test. And when I was watching it, I could only watch like two episodes at a time because I was like, oh shit. <laughs> like this, this show's powerful, bro. Like it's a powerful ass show. But I never thought that I would do something like that. Now, let me explain. Watching this show, I was like, you know what? Like, you feel like you're in the show when you're watching it. Let me say that. Like in the other video you guys saw, when I was fighting that larger demon with my friends, we had to face him in that arena. And after that, I was like, oh, you know what? I remember doing this before I came to Earth, fighting in arenas for training for when I would actually fight darker beings and i thought you know what why don't i just go train in the astral so from then on i started going to the astral plane to train and i loved this because i could go there and battle other astral projectors that are in the same lane doing the same things and wanted to train as well going to the fighting pits and fighting other beings in like this training ground and it doesn't just give you that training and that energy but it also is like it also gives you like an astral clout. Now, that's not the reason why I do it, but I realize other beings watch these games. Millions and millions, I was about to say thousands, but this is millions of beings that are watching these games. And they, they, basically, they basically support you. No matter where they are in the galaxy, they watch these games and they support you. <laughs> Excuse me. Other beings that probably want to mess around with you and they see how you fight, they're like, ooh. Like, we don't want to do that. Or, oh, we could take them on, right? So it, it gives you astral clout. Now, I want to say if you are a warrior star seed, this will be something that you probably want to do. But I want you to be a little careful. Because when you go in these games, it's literally like a game. So you go in and there's an arena set up. And I'm usually in this, I'm in this part of the astral for a long time. It feels like days when you're there, for me anyways. I like to go for a long period of time. And it's literally like Alice in Borderland, bro. It's like you're living in this universe. You can do whatever the hell you want. And then you have games that you go into after. So it's like when you have that visa in the show, you have a visa for like seven days. So you can do whatever the hell you want in this city that has like nobody in it. And then you have to go into the games. When you go into the games after, you get excited because you go in the games and then they have certain rules. It's like, all right, these are the rules. You know, maybe it's maybe it's like tag or it's like capture the flag or something more intricate. Those are just light examples. And from then you are getting this experience, which you take 100% in the physical with you. So it's not at all that you're just doing something in the astral. You are literally getting war experience, which is wild because you wake up and you you feel whatever you did. And you remember whatever you did as much as you allow yourself to remember or how much awareness you got. So these games are something to play with because you go there and these beings will use what they can to take you down. Again, it's a training ground. So they're going to use all your fears, your insecurities, and they're going to use whatever, whatever they consider your weakness. They're going to use it against you. And so you're going to fail a lot. Like for me, they, you guys know me, they would continue to send succubuses my way knowing that I'll probably fall for it really easily. That's the thing is I've been battling succubuses for a long time and I'm good at fighting them. Like when they come at me in the astral, 
I'm better at fighting them than I was before. Sometimes, the only way to explain it is I fall for it. Then I end up having interactions with this being. And then I basically, I wake up, I'm like, shit, they did it again. Okay, next time I'm gonna do this, this, and that. And then it takes me down less, or it, it can't, after that, it has a harder time, or it can't. So then they'll send another one and try a different tactic. So they always are trying you so that there's no angle in which they can get you IRL. So it makes sense to go here, but you also gotta be careful because they're gonna use everything against you. So if you're ready to face your darkest moments and face the things that you consider your weakness, go to the arena. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna help you fight physically in terms of physically fight people that use these type of things against you. It's gonna help you fight physically, astrally, emotionally, and mentally. And spiritually. So it literally helps you grow on all levels. If you're ready for that, go to the Astral Pits. That's all I'll say for now because there's so much we could get into with that. And I'll give you guys some updates about the Astral Pits because I actually do go with my friends. We talk about it all the time after we Astral Reject. We wake up and then we talk about it. And with my homeboy Genie, shout out to my home dog. We've been going a lot together. And we've been traveling a lot astrally in the galaxy together. So, shout out to my homeboy. And don't forget to check out his YouTube channel. He's the bomb. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.